Good morning, it's Margaret Petty at the University of Sewing. And guess who I have with me? Here's Hi, Denise, guys. Rachel. Good you morning. You guys have seen Rachel a lot more recently. Yes, and hi. And she has been covering me while I've been off gallivanting the universe. <laughs> <laughs> and so we love having you here. Thank you for showing up. And we have got some wonderful things to show you today. Um, I don't know what your weather is like. I hear that uh, Denver is getting smacked with a bunch of snow. Sorry about that, uh, Debbie. I know that you love snow, so that must be okay then. And uh, here it has been rainy and gloomy, but it is supposed to turn the corner in the next 24 hours. So we're going to just have sunshine in here. We can only we're, hope, right? We're going yeah. to, we're still thinking spring here. That's it's right. okay. Well, that is part of the thing that you want to think about because March is definitely when we see the weather kind of doing all the weird things. And <laughs> Indiana is good at the weird weather. Oh, Indiana is yeah. really good at yeah. that. So <laughs> we have got some great things to demo for you today. And if we don't get moving, we're not going to get it done. So what we're going to do first is tell you about our giveaway. All right, so today we have a wonderful giveaway. You know you know the drill. Hit that share button, put in the comments that you shared it, and you will be entered to win our fantastic prize today. We've got a needle card with threader um, to, to give away in addition to this lovely panel that actually features a little, um, it looks like a little featherweight, like a little singer featherweight on it. And it says, life is short, buy the fabric. And Words also, to live by. Is Words that, to live by. Is that not just a motto for for life or Absolutely. what like definitely whoever dies with the most fabric wins yeah. you guys <laughs> and you know maybe close oh, <laughs> and you know I'm, it, it, the thought for me on this is that you don't have to make this into a quilt guys you yeah. can just have it up yeah. in your sewing yes. room the other thing you could do with it though which might be kind of fun Put it on the back of a quilt. Oh, I love that uh, idea. Yeah. I love a surprise love on the back. or if you really love the saying and it's really your motto Put that into a wall hanging and Absolutely. hang it up in your sewing hang room. Hang it up in your sewing room and just look at it every time you go like, well, I have a... No, no, I think I need to go and get some more. more. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Our customers are so good about sharing and they have been for a long time, which is fantastic. But I have a challenge for them today. Oh, okay. okay. Share this video with one of your sewing pals that you haven't shared it with. Just tag them, put their name in it. And oh, would not be oh. Nice. let's see what they think. Let's that would be kind of cool. Yeah. But I will tell you, we get a lot of sewers in here and they're like, I don't have any sewing friends yet. We need you guys especially to come and visit with us. We want to us. be your friends. <laughs> Let us be your sewing friends. <laughs> we are totally we, your sewing friends. So, and we can introduce you to other sewists. Absolutely. Yes. yes, and if you join us for some classes, that is going to be a wonderful way to make some friends. And we've got a short list today because we've got a bunch of things coming up. And so, but we do have some classes coming up next week that I want to make sure we cover um, so Rachel's going to do that in a minute, but we're going to first do two different demos. One, I am going to show you how to put your walking foot on your sewing machine. Oh, Everybody freaks out about that the first time. And if you don't own a walking foot, this is a very good impetus for you to get one because they're just lovely in how they will handle uh, two layers of fabric, making sure that they come out the same length. When you sew a big, long two strips, that's a wonderful what way. What a yes. novel idea to have them end together. Yes. Uh, you yeah. know, you, I, I hear everybody say, I know I cut them the same right. length and they right. came out two what, different lengths. Why lines. are they two different lengths? <laughs> this actually just happened on one of the, the online quilting forums that I'm a part of. This woman posted a video and she was like, what am I doing wrong? I'm just sewing and my bottom fabric keeps like swinging mm. over on me. What is, what keeps happening? What am I doing wrong? And everybody said, walking foot. Mm -hmm. You got to put on a walking There's foot. There's a tool, right? There's well, a tool for that. And there is also a couple of other tips and tricks. Like when you do free motion, you're going to show, which is it today? You're going to show ruler work? We're going to play with the BSR and maybe some ruler work too. Okay. We'll at least talk All about right. it. We'll at least talk about it. Yeah. But one of the keys to having that work really well and those long lines of uh, strips you're trying to go, the single hole stitch plate. Yes. I don't care what sewing machines right. we're talking about. It doesn't matter the brand. 
Although Bernina does have the best walking feet and the single hole stitch plate. <laughs> it just does. No question. <laughs> no question. <laughs> and the really cool thing is right now, the feet are on sale. So this walking foot, now if you click on our University of Sewing site today, the walking feet are out of stock, but they're on order. They probably will get shipped today or on Monday. We should have them by Wednesday. They're on sale. Make a little note for yourself, or you know what you also can do? You can call us. Call us. We answer the phone. We, do we talk, talk to you. With real people. With real, yeah, with people. real people. And we will help you. So all you need to do is call us. We'll make sure you get the right walking foot for your sewing machine and now we can't do that for other brands, but for your Bernina brand right. and your Burnett brand sewing machine, we can help you get the right walking foot. And you know what? It is just a game changer. Sewing knits, taking and doing. So let's get going. Let's go over here and see what a walking foot is and see what it does. Walk this way. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna get a box. And this box is going to come, and now I, I just brought it from home, so everything fell out. Oh. So uh, it is going to have all kinds of wonderful things in it. This is the actual walking foot, okay? That's it, right in there, okay? It comes with all this stuff, and there's two feet, uh, what they're called soles. They are right here, and... This has one on it. So when you look at the box, it'll say it has three soles. So what we're talking about in a sole is your foot. This thing right here. Now, I just want to show you. I'm going to actually set it right here. I got the open-toed one. I also want to point out something to you. The Bernina walking feet, they only have a width of 5.5 millimeters for them. They do not have a wider width. This is it. So you can only use it inside that little zigzag area from there to there. That's it. So we are going to show this on a 475, which is a 5.5 millimeter machine. Some of you will know what that means. Some of you won't. The first thing we're going to do is take off the foot. When we talk about 5.5 millimeter machines, this is what we're talking about is this, these little feed dogs and this area right here. That is what we're talking about, how wide that is. Denise, can you hand me your walking foot, for, or I mean your number one foot so that I can show them real quick the Absolutely. difference? Absolutely. Okay, looky. See the difference? The one's bigger than the other. This is a nine millimeter foot. It goes with the nine millimeter machines. They have nine millimeter feed dogs. This one is a five millimeter. And the space we have is identical to this. So the 5.5. Now, why do they do that? I think it's because they need all this space and they really can't see. If you look at here, this is really skinny and this is really skinny. And these rubber pads right here are what the walking foot uses to help move your, and see how I'm pulling this up and down? I'll show you where this guy goes. All right, so I took off my foot, and then what I'm gonna do is I am going to, I've gotta get that wrapped around my needle screw area. I don't have to take my needle off or anything, I just, or that screw off, I just need to do that. Notice the angle here. I'm scooping it into the area where that little cone is that we put our foot onto. And oh, I was a little bit far ahead. There we go. I've got it up on the cone. Now I'm going to take that little lever over here on this side and I'm just going to bring it down. It's set up and ready to go, guys. That's all I have to do. It's that simple. So, now, what is the story with this walking foot? Why is it so important? All right. So we are going to go ahead and I will show you what it does. It's pretty phenomenal. Now, notice that these two guys are not the same length. 
So I don't want you to think that anything went wrong. In fact, we'll even put it in here like this Are so you can see. Without thread? Well, maybe. No, you have thread. I have thread. You have thread. It's just I just have, I just have to get it threaded. So we're going to thread the machine. That would be good. It's more fun with thread, Mother. It is more fun with thread. Thank you. I could not see it back there, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we are going to thread our machine. Look how fast the Bernina threads. That is all there is to it. Now, I'm going to just show you something, how to use the needle threader. A lot of you come to me and say, Margaret, my needle threader doesn't work. Well... I'm going to make sure my needle is in its up, most upright position. Then I'm going to push this in here. Make sure that that's snug up against the needle. And you can use your finger to push that in. You won't hurt it. And then I'm going to wrap from the back of that little post right there. Come across. There is a V cut out on this side, guys. And that's where my thread is sitting. I'm not holding this really very strongly. See how it's easily coming out my fingers? Now, look what happened. Ta-da! Got that little loop in the back. I'm ready to go. So I'm going to put my foot back up. This machine has a lever. So the reason we're featuring this machine today is, guys, look at this. This is on sale until March 31st, and it is a third off. That is a big, huge $1,000 off, guys. A third off, Margaret. A third off. Wow. This is an exceptional sale. Wow. To be honest with you, they may have run this before, but I don't remember this sale happening before. That's amazing. And guess what? It's not just this very nice Bernina machine. It's also the CAFE 475. So if you've been, yes, we're going to show you that in a second after I go ahead and I get this set up. I've got my machine set up. Now you're going to say to me, but Margaret, what if I want to sew a quarter of an inch? Well, that is something that you'll have to move your needle for. So what we would do to sew a quarter of an inch, the quarter of an inch mark happens to be right there. So I'm gonna double, triple check myself. Nope, I'm sorry, it's right here. It's right there. It's almost in the middle of the feed dogs. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this and I've gotta watch that line right there. Yes, the feed dogs on this, these, this walking foot make this a little more challenging. But if you really are struggling with your fabric skewing out of the way, or you're having problems with it um, getting a nice even edge here, the walking foot's the answer. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hold our thread, and I actually can see where my little line is under here. Um, if you are struggling to see that, what you might wanna do is go ahead and do a, um, Go ahead and do your lighting so that it comes here and shows you where that little line is. It's right there. So wait, wait a minute, I'm gonna, it, and the lighting is not great here, so that's why you're having, here, maybe that helped a little bit. There's a little line right there, that's what we want. So, but you know what's interesting is the entire part of my walking foot is hitting it. Yes, it's inside that little area right there, but, my entire walking foot is right there on it, and it's feeding it through beautifully. So, I will tell you where I tend to use this the most. By the way, did you notice we have a lovely cutter on this machine? So, it will cut your threads for you. So, there's my quarter of an inch. And um, I'm just going to tell you this fabric wasn't cut very straight, so that's why it's not... <laughs> Perfect right there. Not sure why we didn't cut that straight, but we didn't, but it's okay. So anyway, there's your seam. You can go back and you can perfect this and get this a lot better, but it does a beautiful job. I think I got it nice and straight, so that's good. And 
that will help you with those big long strips. So, 475, perfect machine to go to your retreats. Um, I forget, at one point in time, I knew how much these weighed. I want to say 25, 26 pounds. Is I that was thinking about? 23, so probably in that okay. ballpark. All right, yeah. so it's well, a little, it's over, 20. Tw yeah. little yeah. over 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, but if you decide to go with the with cape version the of it. cape version. Oh, my goodness. So this, I'm, I'm just bringing this up here because our, ours is kind of tucked away in the corner here, so it's a little bit harder to see. But this cape version, you get it in the beautiful turquoise col color with those wonderful cape designs, those cape flowers on it. And this machine, with all of these, with all of this special decoration on it, is still on sale for $1,999. And you get extra gifts with this. Because Cave wants you to have extra gifts. You get a Cave designed dust cover for your machine, and you get a Cave designed Bernina. Oh, you just get the dust cover. You just get the dust cover with it today. You get extra gifts with it. Um, so it is totally ready to go to your retreat and make you smile and make you happy. And these machines, you guys, I have a 10-year-old and a 12-year-old at home. They are budding sewists. They love to play with sewing machines. And this machine, the last time they came and visited me here at the shop, they sat down at the 475 and it just immediately started stitching. My 10-year-old figured it out right away. You don't think that you can figure the out these machines you can trust me and look at how gorgeous don't you want this don't you want this beautiful machine look at it with so much happiness going on i love this too because look there's cave right there there he is doesn't he just like i just want to be his friend isn't he so fun looking he just looks like a, a cool guy to hang out with yes. well if you've ever seen any of the videos about him he has amazing videos he has beautiful scissors you can buy. There's little bags you can buy. We have a lot of that stuff. But getting the case that will, your rolly yes, case your to go case. with you, amazing deals. So look, my, look at, my wonderful. I mean, how yeah, beautiful. It, aren't, they, aren't they just lovely? How beautiful. And so, again, these are things, you know, when you have things you just use all the time, why just stick with the utilitarian, the orange scissors that everybody has that are, we know are not that great? Get something fun and happy. So, and the other thing that you may want to consider too, that machine, at this price point, you could get your granddaughter, your grandson, a really fun sewing machine. Now, the grandsons, maybe they won't like the turquoise. That's okay. We can get them the white one. I know so, plenty of grandsons who would like the turquoise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So my point being, though, is that it would make an amazing present. Amazing. Amazing. So, and and a, a gift for life. I mean, really, a gift for life. Because sewing, as we know, is just such an answer to so many things as far as giving someone a craft, a skill. Um, I took that <clears throat> skill when I learned it and turned it into a career. So there's all kinds of things that can make that really a wonderful, wonderful experience for you. Okay, we gotta get out of the way. Dave's gotta, gotta go get, over and go see and, Denise. And demonstrate other things. She's gotta go over and see Denise. Come so. visit me while and we play all with the DSR. And ready to go home with you if you want. Now, we not need to clarify something. We found out something today or yesterday, and I wanna make sure I'm really clear about it. The 475 and the 480, these two machines, they have on the back of it a connection for the BSR. Yes. Now, Denise, you are going to have to tell them what a BSR is. BSR is a shorter way of saying the Bernina Stitch Regulator. And it's this really, really cool tool that for those of us that like to do machine quilting, it helps to keep those stitches at a consistent length. What a novel idea, right? And when you come to my BSR class, hint, 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 come hang out with me. I'll tell you a little more about the history of the BSR and how it came to be. I think it's a really cool story. But one thing that I always share that blows my mind still is what this stitch regulator does is it takes 4,000 images per second of how you're stitching to regulate that. Per minute, I was wrong. Our, no. Our long arms have two of them built in. So talk about consistent, beautiful stitching every single time. That's the machine you want to play with. 
but let's play with it on the 480 today. It's a lovely size machine, great for retreats and traveling. And now you don't get a BSR with these two machines, but we will loan you, if you wanna try it and see if this will work for you, any of our classes that have BSRs in mm -hmm. it, if you wanna try it out and see if you want to purchase this particular foot, because they are expensive. They are. And so yeah. we wanna make sure it's something you really want. And you don't want to buy it and have it sit in your drawer. Oh, that's crazy. Which would be a really bad idea. But that's why you're going to come to the class and hang out with me so you can learn how fun it is. And then you'll go home and it'll never be in the drawer. And I'm sure we've got people who own 770s, 790s that have them. That have them. That never need, used them. Never yeah, used them. Never use them. Oh, come so hang come out to that with me, class. Guys. Yes, please. Check the, uh, takes, the calendar on the website, universityofsewing.com, for dates. It takes that. all the frustration out of your domestic... Absolutely, absolutely. Now you don't have to try to time like no. how fast am I, how hard am I pushing the pedal? No, 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 no it no, does no, it for no. you. And, and I'll teach you all kinds of tips and tricks. But let's talk about what this little thingy is. So if Dave can zoom in here, I've got the clear foot on. It comes with three feet too. It does. And so this one has got some echo lines in it, which makes your echo quilting a little easier. But it also comes with an open toe. Great so that you can see if you don't want to use this guy. But sometimes the open toe can cause a little bit can, of an issue. It can catch stuff. If, yeah. if you've got a bulky seam or an applique that isn't quite flat, you, you might have an issue there. So we've got the answer to that problem. Also, a nice closed toe. This one happens to be my favorite, but really, you can't go wrong with any of them. So let's do a little stitching, guys. Let's see what this little, little guy will do. So just like any of our other machine quilting, we're gonna start by bringing our bobbin thread up. I'm gonna heel tap on my foot controller. Oh yeah, we did do that, guys. You gotta put your foot down. That helps too, look at that. She, she's at she's that. spoiled, she has a machine that does that. I am spoiled, yes, <laughs> I am spoiled. Let's do this guy. Now let's bring this back up. Do you have a knee lift? You want a knee lift? I, you know I love a knee lift, Margaret. Here, oh, knee. my hero. I can't sew without a knee lift, guys. That's, that's, that will help a lot. You know what? I have this theory too, Margaret. You know how we always talk about the one thing that they don't offer is extra time. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. Okay, so we've got our bobbin thread up. You can see it here. I've got green on the top, white on the bottom. Now I will put my foot down and I'm going to go to BSR2, which is the one that I like. You want to know why? Come to my class and I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I know why. I know why. I'm going to push the go button. And the machine's gonna start, but it's not gonna do anything until I actually move the fabric around. And I don't have my gloves on, which I could do. I've also got palm paddles that work really nicely. You can see, the faster the machine moves, the fabric, the faster the needle moves. Yes. The needle moves. And reading her movements. We can go to, well, we won't go to BSR1 because I want you to come to my class, but <laughs> the other thing that we can do too with the BSR is, those of you that are interested in ruler work, you can use your BSR with your ruler work foot. Again, come visit me, come talk to me. I'll give you all the tips and tricks and how to get the most fun out of all of that. We're getting some new rulers in possibly to play with and lots more ruler work classes on and the schedule. We have actually quite a selection of rulers here in the shop already. We carry the palm paddles from Martelli, which make which doing this very amazing. nice. If you don't like wearing gloves, those are the answer. Oh so I, I don't love like, these. I yes. love the paddles. I, I want to be able to feel my fabric. I want yeah, to be able I'm to not very good at wearing them. gloves, so I'm, I'm, I take my gloves on and off. Okay. Right. The other machine that is in the four series that we want to make sure we at least touch on. Remember, all the machines are on sale this month for 20% off. The 435 right here. And this machine does not have a BSR hookup, guys. That is very sad. No, no BSR hookup. Darn. So, yes, you pay a little bit more for this 475 and the 480, but then you have all the tools that you can have to create your quilt from beginning to end. So that is pretty exceptional. We are gonna go ahead and don't forget all of the machines, sergers, there's only one that's not on this list. Sergers, uh, except for the L890 QE, but every other serger, every other uh, 
Bernina regular sewing machine and every long arm is on sale right now. This is a very unusual sale. Take advantage of it. Everything is 20% off. All of our prices are online and all of our classes are online. All you have to do is go to our website, click on our, you, there's a tab that says classes. Then when you have a drop down menu, go to the calendar. Each one of the calendar entries is a link to your class so you can get all the details so you can look at the classes see when things fit in your schedule rachel is going to tell you what's coming up next week if you have not signed up yet <clears throat> all right so while we're getting stuff ready i'm also going to remind you don't forget about our giveaway hit that share button put the share in the comments so coming up at the university of sewing this is actually for the week of march i have the schedule for the week of march 17th isn't that next week that's sunday that's next week? Yes. yes. Oh yes. my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> today's Friday. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh, that know, is Rachel, next week. Rachel, today is the Ides of March. It today is, is the Ides, the of, Ides March. of March. Uh oh. Yes. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, okay. If you it's, wear, it's, it's the 15th today. It's the 15th, <laughs> which means that if you are Julius Caesar, please yes. like stay home. Stay home. <laughs> uh, all right. So coming up next week. Next week. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. It's been spring break. I have no idea what day it is. Uh, <laughs> We got we've got some really great we've got some really great things coming up. We have starting off strong on Monday. We have um, Alice running our Bernina um, B9 building blocks class. That's for embroidery. She's been going through this this whole year long class. Um, uh, series where she goes through and just kind of explains how to use that v9 software in order to customize embroidery for you um it's been really amazing also on monday this is actually an evening class from 6 to 8 p.m we we're trying to listen to you guys you guys said that you wanted more weekend classes more evening classes we're trying to add those Cheryl is going to do rotary cutter basics. Uh, you know, the rotary cutter is something that is a tool that we all use uh, all the time, but can you do it better? I think that you can. And she's just gonna show you all kinds of tips and tricks for how to maximize your cutting so that you don't have to, you can spend more time sewing and less time prepping your fabrics. Cutting is my least favorite part. Cutting is... Cut, Actually, I, it's I, my favorite. Is it your favorite? <laughs> oh, Margaret. Oh, my no. gosh. No. No, well, no, no. Well, I like to sew. Don't get me wrong. I love the sewing, but I absolutely love to cut. You know what I get annoyed with is the finishing. See, I don't mind that. Oh, no. I see, I, like, I like a nice... We just need to a nice beautiful top stitch. Well, that's why she ends up doing a lot I of do. binding. Well, I'm the binding. <laughs> I'm the binding person. Um, which reminds me, I'm also running a binding class. Speaking that's next binding. week. <laughs> Apparently, that's next week. Quick question for you. On your binding class, do you use a walking foot? Uh, we have not used a walking foot before because I've just told, but we should be using you a could. walking foot. Yeah, I know I a lot of people have do. People bring it in. I so, can see where for a lot of people that would really ease the that situation. Would re that would really yeah. make a lot of the stress because sometimes that binding, you know, it kind of has a tendency to sort of twist as you're going and sure. that walking foot just Especially eliminates that. Especially if you're that. doing bias binding, that's yes. going to help control some of that. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so if you come on Friday at one o'clock, you can learn how two different techniques for binding with me. We do machine binding, so we don't have to worry about hand stitching down anything I do what's called a French bind um, or also called a tuxedo bind and then I also do what's called a flange bind which I is super handsome I love a flange yes. bind super handsome that's where you see the binding coming over and then you see there's another layer of binding just kind of peeking out mm -hmm. from underneath it's like it a, like a piping almost it's, almost. Like, it's almost yes. like a piping I always oh. think of it as um, like a tiny little mat on the frame because yes. I, I think of I think in terms of art quilts a lot so I think of it as like yes. The binding is like the frame, and that flange is like your little magic. And it just that adds that it. little touch. That, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we also have another evening class next week on Tuesday. Cheryl at 6 p.m. is going to be doing her beginning quilting class. Um, I don't remember what, what this level is the, she's on this right is now. This is the end this, of it. It's the, end, the end, end of it. Okay, so that's... It's that's, been really popular, though. And they've learned something. And there's yes, a new one so. starting up in April. In April is the next one, right? Yes, yep. That's going to be in the beginning in April. Um, and then Sewing Machine Demystified with Alice or, or Danielle. I don't know who's, who's doing that one. Mm -hmm. um, but... If, say, you are really interested in that 475, but you're feeling intimidated, you're not really certain, come to this class and we'll just teach you how to just use your machine and how or to... Emily. 
that machine that your mom may have bought you a couple years ago that's sitting in my basement. You know, that's a good time to come and do that. Hint, hint, you know, just a thought. We're not calling well, anybody you out don't right bring now. Your sewing machine for sewing machine to mystify. Oh, you don't? No, you do not. Oh. We, no, sewing machine to mystified is a, we supply all the machines. Oh, this is, this is the perfect class for the person who is thinking about, do I want to learn how to sew? Because, you know, it's an investment. You're buying a sewing sure. machine. You're buying rotary cutters, mats, all these different things. And if you want to sew, but you're not sure about sewing, you're scared about it a little bit, Sewing Machine Demystified is a wonderful class because you don't have to buy anything. All you have to do is show up. Mm -hmm. We supply all the tools, and you get to just concentrate on figuring out if this is your jam or not. And, you know, the thing has been, this this particular class has been so successful. Almost every single one of them we fill up. And the reason for it is, is that a lot of people want to learn how to sew. They would at least like to know how to run a sewing machine. Well, it turns out that Bernina's are set up very much like every traditional sewing machine in that, you know, they just have a very straightforward threading system, mm -hmm. The machines we use in class actually have a silver bobbin case that go into them, and you can just learn how to use a very straightforward traditional sewing machine, and we show you how to use it. So if you have maybe a son, daughter, grandchild that is saying, well, you know, I think I would like to learn how to sew, but I'm not sure, this is the perfect class for them. That is, that's excellent. See, I didn't realize that either. I didn't so. realize it. I, you know, because when like, we work here, we're sewists. Uh -huh. So, like, we've been using sewing machines for forever. We never even thought about yeah. it. Yeah. But, but also, the very last one that I want to talk to you about is actually Denise's class on Friday is going to be going over some ruler work. So, grab your BSRs. Grab your sewing machines, grab your paddles. Seriously, these Martelli paddles and, are the best. And let's not stop and forget about oh, our tables. And don't so forget steady your so table. steady yes. tables. If you're you going to do any kind of machine quilting, this is... It, I won't say it's, it's a must-have, but you will not be disappointed that you have it. You know, so. I really I enjoy the the extension tables that sure. come with the Berninas, but right. they're curved. Right. They right. have a curve on them. Right. right. I like a nice flat table. For a nice ruler flat work, surface that curve to makes me a little nervous. That makes me so nervous. So this is so much better. This and you know so nice. what you may not realize right now is that <laughs> So Steady has got this wonderful package. It's called the large oh, table yes. package. You're gonna get a bag, you're gonna get the table. And we can drop ship that to you anywhere. So if you want to order one, no matter what brand of sewing machine, no matter the model, we will go ahead and we'll get that information from you. Um, you can actually go online and do this, but you might want to call us and make sure that we've got your make and your model. So. If you own, say, a Viking sewing machine, and I don't even know what the model numbers are on them, but whatever it is, like at one point I owned a Rose, you know, so. I remember that so, machine. So, mm -hmm. so you could call, call us up and say, okay, Margaret, I have this and this. And then what we do is we place the order with So Steady and we tell them, please ship it to our friend, like our friend Dawn, who comes in to see us from time to time. Her dad lives here in Bloomington, but she lives in California. Yes, yes. So she came in, I told her about this special deal, and we drop shipped it to her in, in California. So it works, it's been very successful, people are really happy with it. So the tables are very convenient. It's a great yes. product. It's a so great really product. Nice. So, and, if, if and you don't is, have a cabinet, this is a fifty dollars savings, guys. Absolutely. Oh yeah, because it's a big sale, right? It it's is a big, a big deal. deal. Yeah. And I've never, I've never seen them do this before. <laughs> now maybe they have. We've only oh really God. been dealing with them for a, for about four or five years. But if you want a table, if you have a cabinet and you need a clear insert, mm -hmm. if you want to, they even have bigger tables than this. They do. Yes. They have some really they great some things. Really so big ones. If you have any questions about this and you want to have it sent to you wherever you live, you can just give us a call. Our phone number is on the website, but it's 812 323 2665. And we'd love to help you. Pro tip on this, it also can double as a light table. Oh, if you're doing sure. applique tracing, very convenient for that. So. 
put one of those little lights right under it. Absolutely. And it just shines right through. No more trying to do. tape things to the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. We have gone over time. Oh, and yes, we, we have. need to open the store. So, everybody, please don't forget to share. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Rachel and I will be here to show off some amazing new fabrics we got. Uh, our our fabric source from Italy sent us some a gorgeous, gorgeous beautiful. fabric. I can't wait to show them to you. And we've got some other ideas and things for you tomorrow. So I hope that you have a fantastic day. And we will see you tomorrow morning for Facebook Live.